Hello YouTubers and welcome to another video by Canon XSI 79 and today I want to touch two topics one is uh, aquarium safety I had a uh, one of my Odyssey pumps that goes in my sump I have two return pumps in my sump and uh, one of those Odyssey pumps exploded luckily it did not catch fire but since then what I did do I added a smoke detector in there because one thing I did notice uh, when that happened there was smoke inside my cabinet and if I didn't I mean you, that smell is very strong it's a very strong smell you would detect it but you would detect it a lot faster if you had some kind of smoke detector in there so I did add a smoke detector uh, maybe you guys don't know but when those pumps go out like that even though the impeller stops working the magnets stop working the uh, pump is still energized as far as you know you still have power going to it so if it breaks that jacket in that uh the water jacket it's a, like a watertight jacket that goes in if it breaks or catches fire now you're exposing your tank for electrical shock you know if you reach in there and grab it uh, my uh, power strip did go off so that's a good thing Unfortunately, before I put this tank on, the main switch, it does not have a GFI uh, protector on the wall. Um, that, with that said, my, like my, uh, my chiller has its own power supply, which does have fuses on it. So if something did happen, that will go off, and my two power strips do go off. Um, with, with a note on that, uh, when that did happen, my uh, finger coral closed up because you can smell this, you know, this, the whatever smoke got in the water, you know, it's submerged. So some of that smoke gets in the water, whatever it's in that smoke, it affected some of my corals and it, mostly it was my finger coral. They closed up. So the first thing I did was I went to, uh, uh, to the store and got myself some active carbon and I put the carbon in the water uh, within a couple days. Uh, they started opening up again and now they're fully bloomed. Uh, the other thing I want to talk, talk about is the uh, Purple Orgorian that I bought. I uh, had a lot of mixed reviews on it. Uh, I'm in the uh, forum and uh, I, put some, I posted some pictures up on it and a lot of people told me that this plant is very hard to keep. I guess because of the excess doses of, of food that I'll have to give it to maintain it. And uh, for some reason, this plant is actually doing uh, fine in my in my tank. I did have to I did have to move it. It was some of the branches were touching my sea fan, and it started mending together. So I, I removed it. I, I moved it uh, to more to the right. And I did. I have, the only thing I have noticed on that plant, it doesn't open all the time. It's in bloom right now. You can see it. I think I can zoom in into it right now. But um, I did notice that um, this plant for some reason it loves when I move anything in the tank or anything in the uh, in the refugium that picks up a little bit of uh, debris or whatever it loves to feed off of it it's a filter feeder and all that but uh, it does love it I added some two new uh, white anemones candy anemones candy anemones this guy right here and then I also added this clam so I can zoom in. I got a, my new toy. I bought myself a Canon 7D, and this thing does awesome in video. And this guy right here, which is kind of falling down, just keeps moving. I don't even know the name of this anemone, but he's really cool. Um, other than that, man, everything's doing good. I did some changes in my sun refugium. I, I took some of my uh, do it yourself live rock, I gave it to my brother. He, uh, I started setting up a 12-gallon nano uh, nano cube uh, aquarium for him. So I just gave him some of my water. The thing I want to talk about, uh, I did do a five-gallon water change this, this past weekend, but I'm trying not to do any water changes in this tank. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to see how much my refugium and my mineral mud brings down my uh, my night right in this tank. I don't know if you guys have been following videos on, on, on my tank. Uh, originally, I did this tank and I took all the water, my live rock, sand from my old 75 uh, gallon. 
and I recycled everything that I had. So everything that's in this tank has been used before and that tank sat there for eight years and it's brought down the uh, night ride dramatically from 180 to like maybe 15 ppm right now. So with that said, the mineral mud and the refugian is a must. I can't, you know, overstress that if somebody's gonna do a tank, go with that system, man. You gotta have a refugium. Uh, the other thing is, just you know, as you can see, my fish are very acclimated to my aquarium. Any time of day, man, I could walk up to these fish, man, and they just go for it, man. They just, they're not shy. They, you know, I wouldn't surprise if it like my koi fish outside. They're probably eating in my hand. But I'll show you guys how acclimated these guys are. I get close to the tank, and they go straight to the corner, to the left over here, and they know it's lunchtime. So, um, you know, that's a good thing. You want to make sure that your fish are, are comfortable around you. I don't feed them all the time, you know, I feed them twice a day. And even that, at that, you know, they, they know what's going on. But anyways, this is my short video on uh, uh, tank sa aquarium safety. And uh, you guys like this video, uh, put a like button on it and uh, subscribe, guys. And thanks for all the new subscribers, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks.